Hey YouTubers, all my tell you tubies out there. It's me, Kenneth Bear, and I had so much fun making you Cosmo. Today we're gonna shake up a little devilish delight. I was doing some research online, because you know I love movies. And if you've ever seen the movie Rosemary's Baby, Rosemary and Guy Woodhouse have two elderly neighbors called Roman and Minnie Castavet who we found out later are members of a coven that has brought Satan up to father a child on Earth. On their first guest in their home, the first visit to their home as guests, they were offered a drink called a vodka blush. So I did a search for the vodka blush. And I'd like to give thanks to Magistra Peggy Nadramia of the Church of Satan, who posted at their website the recipe for the vodka blush. And today I'm making the vodka blush for you. And well, for myself as well, because they're tasty. Sweet, tart, lovely, pink, full of body. How can you go wrong, right? So, we start with the perfectly chilled cocktail glass. Do we remember how this was done? That's right. Put some ice in and the water, swirl it around, you get a nice frost on it. Now, doodly doodly doo doo doo. The shaker. What does the shaker have in it for every time we make a cocktail, kids? That's right, fresh ice. Lots of it in there, see? Where's that camera? There it is. Now, we start with our vodka. And for something like this, like a gimlet or a martini, I use, I use a little, little bit of a better vodka. The, something that's got a little less of a flavor to it. This we're going to use Belvedere. A wonderful rye-based vodka from Poland. It's got a little bit of a little bit of a vanilla nose to it. Very dry. It's a rye-based vodka. It's nice, but we're gonna do a count of eight on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's two ounces of vodka. Then you give it tartness. Ounce of roses, lime juice. One, two, three, four. Now, here comes the fun part. How would you make a vodka blush? Would you wink at it when it was out with its honey? Would you uh, give it a little swat on the ass while its parents were in the room? Oh, here's how we make a vodka blush. Here you go. Rose's Grenadine. We're gonna do an ounce of that. That's a shot of four. Gives it a little sweetness and this lovely pink color. One, two, three, four. And once again, you just shake it. And as I said, the um, proper way I think is to shake it until it's the metal becomes cold enough that it kind of stings your hand a little bit. Starting to do that on me, so we're going to do it another five seconds. One, two, three, three. There we go. Then take that glass with the ice and the water. Check it out. Mm. Oh, the shaker makes me mad sometimes. Pop the shaker like this, strain it into your chilled cocktail glass. Because they can be a pain to clean, get that shaker clean right off and put it back in the freezer. There's another little hint. Keep the shaker in the freezer. Very nice. Keeps it nice and cool for future. And then, that's how you make a vodka blush. Mmm, so nice, you want to hit it twice. Mmm. And it's a lovely late September 
Saturday, where we'll have some rain and then we'll have a little bit of sun through the clouds. Sorry, there was spilled a little bit on the counter. So they said, nice Sunday. Went out, had a, or Saturday rather, went out, had a little bit of fun, thought I'd come back here. And what a lovely surprise to go with our afternoon cocktail. Season one of Broad Serling's Night Gallery on DVD. Booyah! Universal, if you are watching this, please put seasons two and three out. This has been out since 2004, and we still have yet to see two and three. Upsets me a little bit, sorry. But, in the meantime, the vodka blush, solid.